Hi guys, welcome back to Rumor's Life, or welcome if you're new, and today I'll be going over question 233 on SXAM P, so pause the video quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, assume you're attentive, let's just dive right in. A hurricane policy covers both water damage and wind damage. Um, calculate the standard deviation of x. So if we're looking for um, standard deviation of x, we have to find the marginal density of x, which you know, we know is just 0 to 1, 0 to infinity, because um, y is greater than 0. So the, of this whole function right here, blah, 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 dy. Alright, so when we do that, so I think it will be easiest to think of it like this. So think of it like 0 to infinity, 0.13 of e to the negative 0.5x times e to the negative 0.2y. And likewise, you can do that for all of them, minus 0.06 e to the negative x times e to the negative point two y <laughs> minus point oh oh six e to the negative point five x minus point four y point one two e to the negative x times e to the negative point four y. So our first term is going to be negative point one three over two e to the negative point five x because that's that just stays the same because it's a constant and then this just stays the same as well minus 0 0.06 divided by negative 0.2 this just stays the constant constant and then the second part is just stays the same too 0 0.006 divided by um, 0.4 e to the negative 0.5x e to the negative 0.4y and this is the last one 0 0.12 divided by negative 0.4 e to the negative x, e to the negative 0.4y. Okay, let me see what the coefficients are. Oh, the first one's 0.2. So the first one is 0.65, e to the negative 0.5x, um, e to the negative 0.2y, plus, oh wait, my bad, this one should be 0.06. So this is equal to 0.3 e to negative x, e to negative point two y, plus 0.15, e to negative point five x, e to negative point four y, point three, e to negative x, e to negative point four y. And again, we're actually evaluating this from zero to infinity, right? <laughs> Can't forget that part. So when we evaluate this from zero to infinity, and we're plugging the infinity name in for y, y. Okay, so then you know that e to the negative point two y, that's the same, same thing as saying e to the negative 0.2y here. And when you when the denominator gets bigger and bigger and bigger, or just approach 0, so this will just be, be 0, second term is 0, 0, 0, minus, when we plug in 0 for this one, um, this term goes to um, 1, so you're, you're left with 0.65 e to the negative 0.5x, same thing, this term goes to um, 0, I mean 1, and then we're, since we're subtracting, this will be a negative term right here too. Negative 0.15 e to the negative 0.5x. And then last one will be positive 0.3 e to the negative x. So these two actually cancel out. Oh wait, I lost a negative sign here, so this should be negative, so this should be positive. So this will be equal to 0.5 e to the 5x. Well, hey, this is just an exponential distribution, right? Where lambda is equal to 0.5. In ex exponential distribution, standard, de standard deviation is just 1 over lambda. In our case, it will be 1 over 0.5, which is just 2. Which is our answer, B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!